Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Autumn. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and like today's video if you enjoyed what you saw. I'm going to be testing out this Rock Candy ColourPop palette and trying out my new Morphe brushes just since they're already out and ready since I don't have a lot of time today. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure you stick around for today's video. So I did my face, eyebrows, and um, hair off camera. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time today. We are getting ready to go eat with my grandma and aunt. So I just wanted to try a few of these beautiful shadows and some of my new makeup brushes. If you saw last week's video, you saw that I got some new ColourPop eyeshadow brushes and like a few face ones and then these um, Morphe ones. So I'm just going to go in with this like blending brush. There's no name on it, but it's just like a blending brush and I'm going to go in with this crushed shade right here. Or do I want to do pink? Mm. I think I'll start off with that crushed shade. Okay. So far it's applying everything pretty well. Some of the little hairs are coming out of this makeup brush. I don't love that. I'm just trying to pack on some color so I'm not using like a, like a packing brush. I'm just, I want it to kind of be more even, if that makes sense, so. All right, so that's what we got with the blending brush. Um, it's okay. I don't love it. I'm going to see how the ColourPop one does. Um, now I'm going to go in with a, a flat brush. Let's try this one. Just like a little flat brush and I'm gonna go in with <laughs> this volcanic shade right here I was gonna do pink but I just decided to go with brown <laughs> so it was able to pack on some of the color pigment and the thing I love about these ColourPop shadows is they will apply with a brush. You don't have to use your finger, but if you want more of like a pop, then you could use your finger. Okay. I'm not mad at this one. I don't love the shape of it because it's a little bit bigger than the one I'm used to, but it's doing the job. So there's with just the brush. I'm going to just go in with my pinky in that same color and add a bit more punch to it. So there's with my finger. There's without. This eye always gives me more trouble though. So. Alright. I did notice that there's not like a like a bone or like a skin, light skin color. That's one thing I don't love about this palette. Um, I'm just gonna go in with another, my Going Coconuts palette to get that so I can put that under my brow bone and um, in the corner of my eye. I will use this one this little Morphe brush, and I'm gonna just go in with this color. It is shredded. So that's one thing that I didn't love about the Candy Crush palette. But everything else was nice. I, I, it performed like a typical ColourPop eyeshadow would perform. Like if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love ColourPop. Um, 
shadows. Just put it in the corner of my eye. And there we have it. I'll put these aside. All right, gotta hurry. We've got like 10 minutes before we have to leave. All right, so the eyes are done. Put on my eyeliner and mascara. I just used the normal ones I always use, the Essence, the Maybelline, Maybelline Sky High, and the Rimmel Blackest Black Eyeliner. Nothing new there. Um, I'm happy with the eyeshadow. I think, like I said, it performed like I would expect a ColourPop eyeshadow to perform. I didn't love these Morphe ones. They got the job done, but I definitely want to play with those ColourPop ones and see how I like those um, because... I'm still trying to find some good ones, so. Hey guys, I am back with a, another video. I'm going to be testing out the um, ColourPop brush set that I got. And I'm going to also be um, testing out again this Rock Candy ColourPop palette, which I know I love it, but I just wanted to kind of beef up what I already have on my eyes and test out these brushes so um let's see let's see this one's just more like compact though this one's just kind of flimsy this one it's kind of more like this one maybe i'll try that okay just gonna see how we like it. I'm going in with this crushed shade. I used it the last time I used this palette. I think I'm gonna go into this very genius. It's just a little bit darker. I'm gonna see kind of color it has. Okay, this brush is okay. It's just kind of smaller than I like. Um, hmm. I mean, it did the job, but there's just something about those naked brushes. I just, I haven't found anything else to compare them to. Like, they are just amazing. Okay, this one's, this one's better. Okay, well this one's better than the first one I tried. Picked up pigment pretty well. It didn't apply that great. Which I know it's not the eyeshadow. Okay, this side's a little bit better. Which, it might be a little bit of interaction, I don't know, because I did use an old Naked palette or like this morning. Um, so I don't know if like that shimmer and this shimmer just like aren't meshing very well. But... I have done this before, like just put like ColourPop on top of that one before. So I kind of feel like it's the brush. Um, Cause it's definitely picking the pigment up. But it doesn't like to sit on it, the lid as great. I'm going to go back in with this Morphe flat brush and just see what that does with the eye pigment. Okay. I think that's layering it a little bit 
better, but now this is probably what four coats now that I've put a shimmer on. Um, but I do think this put on the pigment a little bit better than the ColourPop one. Um, I'm going to go in with this kind of smaller flat one. One thing I don't like about this palette is they're not, there's not like a really light shade to highlight. I mean, you have this one, but that's a glitter. Like I wish there was a matte lighter color, like almost like that color, but lighter and not shimmer. So that's one thing I don't like about this palette. Everything else though has been working very nice. How I would expect a color pop eyeshadow to work. This is that naked palette I was using earlier. It's a very old, as you can see, I've had it forever. Um, I mean, you can see this is the like kind of lighter color that I like to use just to kind of put under the brow bone because it's lighter than the one we put on our eyes just to kind of highlight under nothing too crazy and then in the corner That one wasn't bad, but I don't know. I'm still not loving these brushes. I don't love these Morphe ones either. I used them first just because they were out. I tried this like blender, blending brush. I don't know what to do, y'all. But... I do think that these Morphe ones are better than the ColourPop ones, but I don't know. Not sure. I wanted to give it like another go. And I'll still play around with these and kind of see if I can get them to work how I want them to, but I'm still on the hunt for a good eyeshadow brush set. If you know anything that's similar to these Urban Decay Naked ones, they came out of the palette. I love this one. It's like pretty dense. Um, and then I love this flat one, which that, the color pop one was pretty similar to that one, but I still like these better. And then I love this flat top here. And I don't really use this set, this brush very much, but these are my three favorites. I love this one. This one came from that original Naked palette, and I'm pretty sure this one came from, it was one that had lots of blues in it. I think it was like the volume two or three or something. I don't know, but these are amazing. I did see that you can purchase brushes from Urban Decay, so maybe I'll try and just do that. Um, I don't know. I've also heard lots of good things about like Sigma brushes, but they're really expensive. And I mean, I don't mind spending the money if I know I'm going to love it, but I don't want to get it and it'd be like a Morphe brush or um, those ColourPop ones or honestly, I don't know what brand. I had these custom made. She just like did the coating and stuff on this one. Or these Jaclyn Hill ones. I don't like those. Um, again, those are Morphe though, so I don't know. But I'm still disappointed that I haven't found my brush yet. Um, on other good news, I've used this ColourPop um, like lip exfoliator a few more times. I do like it, um, but as I mentioned earlier, I do like the um, e.l.f. one better, so that was just kind of a, another go at it. Um, 
oh gosh, like the lights like dimmed and it was weird. Um, anyways, so that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my review on everything. Like I said, I do love the um, rock candy palette. I think it's really pretty and worth it. Um, the one thing that I wish it did had was a mirror and um, just like a lighter um, base shade, like not a shimmer, like a matte shade. Um, but everything else is really pretty. Everything performs how I would expect a ColourPop palette to perform. And this wasn't that expensive, so I know adding a mirror would up the cost a little bit, though. So I do understand that. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you all next time. Bye, guys!